recipes uh X has said he talked to me. He be he was talking to me last night. That ego shit, but you know what? It be like nigga go to getting heartless, bro. Cause, cause sometimes dog, we show more love than we get back a lot of times, bro. Cause, 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 cause we the ones with all the love. We are the ones with the love, man. Yeah, we got all the. Love don't come. You know, you know when you fuck, you know when you fucked up, you know when you fucked up really with the love. Is when you started giving niggas money. What you finna do though? Yo, I wanna, I wanna be, wanna be pray boogie up <laughs> and a boogie ass <laughs> and Don Q. I'm finna put you fuck niggas up. Come on. <laughs> come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ty, pussy, oh, you got a fuck for a cock. Keep by? Keep by? Okay. Qui est-ce qui fait travail? Bon Dieu. Ça, c'est pas travail. C'est pas mal, Jiri. C'est pas bon, quoi, oui. C'est pas travail. Oh, okay. Qui s'a dit, Fouadji? Yeah. Je pense que c'est pas la sortie. Je pense que c'est pas la ville là, Kai. Et même le fait carré là, ton emboule, devant les gars là. When slaves from all over Africa were brought here to Haiti, they forged a new spirit religion, one that incorporates elements from its adversary, the Catholic Church. On the surface, Haiti is a Catholic country, but daily life still moves to the rhythms of spirit religion. Miraguan is a small port on the Haitian coast. Businessman yeah. Gary Mazil once was the town's mayor. But Mazil has another side, as a voodoo priest. Gary's family has a problem. As village priest, Gary must try to solve it. Recently, Berto, a young cousin, began acting strangely. Today in England, witchcraft and its more modern incarnation, Wicca, are pagan religions. Wiccans worship the gods and spirits of nature. In return for their faith, the spirits grant them the power of magic. I'm a witch because it's empowering. It feels like I'm participating in a, a living history of women and trans feminine people um, that goes back forever. I'm a witch because it's something I grew up with uh, and something that made a lot of sense for me as an adult as like a practical approach to spirituality. My family was Catholic, Irish Catholic, but um, you know, there's a lot of Catholic folk magic and Catholic folk traditions that people don't realize are witchcraft, you know, just by another name or not having a name at all. My grandma definitely did things, my mom did things that they would never label witchcraft, but that's what they are like hanging a rosary on your door to keep evil away. Indigenous traditions have mixed with Catholicism to create a unique brand of spirituality that sometimes puts spells ahead of crucifixes. People patronize brujos or witches like Julia Garcia to remedy physical or emotional pain. I cure many spiritual, even physical things. If you have a cold, I can take care of it. If you have a bad hip, I bandage it. This young lady suffers from headaches, and Julia treats her by performing a cleansing ceremony, or limpia. People here believe that his soul is under siege by none other than the devil himself. 
The Philippines is home to over 60 million Catholics. For most Filipinos, their concept of evil is based on the Christian belief in the devil. Eric's mother, Elena Jaramillano, fears for her son's soul. Every night she reads the Bible and prays for him. Often, that's when the trouble starts. Tonight, a reading from scripture triggers something in Eric. His hands shake, his eyes roll back in his head. Whenever he has an attack, his reaction changes. His eyes become vicious, he shakes. Sometimes I'm afraid. Mexico City, home to 20 million people, most of them Catholics. The church forbids any dealings with witchcraft, saying it's the work of the devil. But for many Mexicans, the allure of magic, both good and evil, is irresistible. Get this, uh... Believers find the tools of witchcraft at the Sonora Witches Market. This is a this is a Afro-Caribbean. Anthropologist Caribbean. Anthony Zavaleta has studied the market for 25 years. In every cranny of this maze, brujas or witch doctors peddle their cures. It's a market for even the most gruesome wares. Along with goods. The market provides services. In back rooms behind the stalls, nearly anything is possible. Spells can be cast or lifted. Customers can have their spirits cleansed or engage in satanic rites. <laughs> 